What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, doing a reading for Capricorns for the month of August. So, Capricorns, it is a universal month three for August. Okay, so this is all about socializing, communicating, uh, expressing yourself. Um, everybody's going to be on that tip. Everybody's going to be probably going to be a very, a very uh, outspoken month. Because three is all about talking. So, be hearing from people. A lot of people will be online. Just watch your communication. There's going to be a need to communicate. So, everybody's going to have something on their mind. Everybody's going to be talking. So, that's just the energy. Also, you might get messages from people or business. Uh, but that's the energy. That's just the energy. Uh, let's look into your reading. This is for... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you know, it's general readings. Uh, if you need to know more, get a personal read, because those are better. Uh, and like I said, if it resonates with you, go ahead and click on that like button so it can go ahead and get shared around. <sighs> Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I can tell people before, because these are general, I get like maybe three, maybe two or three messages. So maybe one or all of them will pertain to you. So let's look into Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of August. Angel, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors, please give me insight into Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of August. What can I expect for the month of August? One more time. Ooh, already jumping. All right. We're going to put those out. All right, Capricorn. So first few cards that I see, you have the Ten of Cups reverse. Ten of Cups reverse in your position means that um, pay attention to your family issues. Um, there could be something that's disrupting your family life. Okay? The Ten of Cups reverse kind of shows me that, you know, things are almost there. Or having a, a happy, happy home life is almost there. There's still some, like, something kind of holding you back. Um, you have the star card, it's reverse, it means that you might be losing hope in regards to some situation. But I see a new opportunity happening with you. Some new new offer, uh, something that gives you a little bit more stability um, that you're kind of thinking about. There's still some, you're lo losing some hope on some other situation. I do see like you're releasing some stress in regards to your home life. Or a need to release some stress. Maybe, t maybe you've been taking care of too many things, too many issues. In regards to your family life or family members, um, there is a slight confusion with the Ace of Swords in the fifth house. Which so this could be a confusion in regards to uh, children or a romantic partner. In your house of responsibilities could be a child. You got the Page of Swords, responsibilities, and in, in, um, the Page of Swords is in that area. So this could be someone who thinks they're a know-it-all. Someone who refuses to learn something. Could be a romantic partner. For some of you, you have a confusion in regards to a relationship, a romantic partner, what you're confused about. Um, you're waiting on them to make a decision about something. Two of Swords is the seventh house. Waiting on them to make a decision regarding something. Maybe they don't have any money. But the Ace of Swords, or Ace of Pentacles there. Ace of Pentacles means somebody's making a sacrifice or needing to pay up <laughs> um, this person is being indecisive though there's something that they don't know or don't realize I do feel like there's some lack of money someone needs some help you may have a family member or a child that is needing to borrow money and they see you as someone who makes a lot of sacrifices for them a lot of pentacles in this. This is obviously in regards to some type of financial situation. You're slow to offer this money, though. You're like, should I offer this? Should I give them this? <laughs> you know, um, you feel a little insecure about this decision. Somebody might be trying to get your money. You're feeling a little bit emotionally distant. Or you've been emotionally distant for this person. Uh, but there is a message. Someone's about, someone wants to bring you a message. They want to tell you something. They want to... Um, or you need to communicate 
your love for this person or the page of cups also could be just this person i kind of feel this is somebody younger because this this whole reading surrounds around this this one person you may have someone younger in your life a child uh maybe a younger uh this could be someone that you're in a relationship with a younger person or just a younger person in general I don't see anything very romantic about it. You're very much in control of the situation. You got the magician card really taking control of the situation. This person is very imaginative. There's something that they don't realize. I really feel like it's somebody younger, just somebody who needs help, needs some financial help. You might be you might be assisting them throughout the month, or there it just seems like oh, this this kid is hopeless. <laughs> With so many pages and so many pentacles, this really feels like someone outside of you who's younger, who has financial difficulties, and they need your assistance. It's kind of funny how this reading has come out to be about somebody else. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah, going on a journey. You might be taking a trip or a mental journey. There's a lot of people in that boat. See how many people are in that boat? And one person is making is taking making the decisions, guiding the boat. And I feel like you are guiding this journey for this person. Clarify the person, please, the two of swords. The moon card could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces. Someone who is very emotional, stuck in their emotions. There's a lot of stuff that's hidden about this person, too. They're not telling you or revealing everything, but they seem to be indecisive. A lot of secrets. Somebody's not revealing everything. Maybe an illusion. The moon card is about illusions. Um, clarify the star card. So this person may be not making a decision about something or unable to make a decision. But they're not telling you the whole story. Clarify the star card. They've gone through, maybe they've gone through some loss. You're feeling kind of hopeless. This could be somebody who they're going through loss or they lost something or this person uh, has come back into your life. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Another page. Somebody younger. Offering them a, a new opportunity. Maybe you are hiring somebody. Whoop! Hermit card. I think you're overthinking the situation. Overthinking the situation and taking a lot of time. But you're you want to kind of release this burden. Clarify the ace of swords. What are we confused about? Justice card could be a legal issue. Something's not fair. Maybe too much giving. Maybe you've been supporting somebody too long. Clarify the page of swords. The magician card. This person does not know everything. They could be tricking you. They could be uh, an illusion with the, with the magician reverse. This person, their energy is, they are stressed out. They don't know what to do about their financial situation. But once again, I think it's also a little tricky. This person's a little tricky. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. This is, uh, the cards may be suggesting that you not make a sacrifice. They need assistance, they need help, they're coming to you for help, but the Hangman Reverse talks about <laughs> don't make a sacrifice. Clarify the Hangman, because they see you as a Hangman, like you make a lot of sacrifices for this person. And the King of Cups, they see you as the um, business person, like someone who's a workaholic who works a lot, who, who takes care of their money, but they 
kind of mean. <laughs> they see you as a mean, shrewd business person. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's selfish, feeling insecure, not very good with money, and very selfish. This person is keeping you from getting to where you need to go. Whoop. These cards are just... You love this person. This is somebody you could be a queen of cups. This could be someone that this is your child. But you do love this person, but they're emotionally, you, you, you need to make your distance. You need to kind of cut that cord. This could be your child. This could be someone who's just abusing you, your love. Clarify the page of cups. Yep. This person has no clarity. They are a loving person. They're going to come to you with the message of love. I love you. But they have no clarity at all. They have none. Clarify that outcome. They are a confused person. Idea card. I would present to them a, a different alternative route versus trying to help them out financially. Uh, give them ideas on how to improve their life. What is the angel or device? Angel Oracle or Capricorn. Thank you. Cards are just jumping out. Gifts from God. Gifts from God. They, they need to they need to ask the Lord to help them. <laughs> we angels are bringing you gifts from the Creator. Open your arms to receive. The thing is, the gifts from God and the idea. This is saying that I feel like this person is coming to you. They're trying to decide. They need some help. And it's going to cost. Someone might be financially dependent on you. It could be your child. Or it could be a romantic partner. But someone, if it's a romantic partner, for some of you, if it's a romantic partner, this person has a very immature energy. They love you. But they are being way too dependent on you. And you need to kind of uh, be a little emotionally distant from this person. And offer uh, the solution should be an idea and not something financial or how they can get off their feet. Uh, I feel the need to clarify your person. What else do we know about this person? Because this seems to be about them in August. But your role in it. Is playing a big factor. Have faith. They're, this person is going through a roadblock. And they need to go and have faith that they can get through this. But it's more of a spiritual kind of thing where they can get through it. They haven't decided, but you cannot be bailing them out. This is a journey that you guys are going on together with this card here. You're going on this journey with them. But it looks like, so if you have, it could be a romantic partner who's very immature and not where you are. Or this could be a child, but you need to help them with an idea, not with money. So many pentacles in here. <laughs> it's like very strong money issue. What is the advice of animals? Oracle. Spirit has your back. The eagle fly high, look below. See this bigger picture. Um, spirit is supporting you with whatever you decide to do. You also have the magician card at the bottom of the deck, which means you are creating the situation. Create the situation that you want. Manifest something. Manifest something better for this person. Manifest something better for yourself. Don't overthink it. But the gifts from God's uh, angel is here to help. And it's almost kind of like just kind of helping this person spiritually manifest something versus making the sacrifice. Don't do that. Don't. What is it being an enabler? Don't be the enabler for this person. I feel like the strong enabling energy. Capricorn. All right. That is your reading. Uh, went pretty fast, but it was pretty cut and dry, too. Like, sometimes a tarot will do that. It'll be like. So, um, yeah. Uh Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are going through. Uh, hit that like button and make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later. Peace out.